So then we go to the thing, the, 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 the segment everybody's talking about, and basically Regal comes out, and MJF interrupts him, and MJF tells this very, very, very long story. Remember I about- told you that he told me that story in a car? Oh, did he really? Yeah, yeah. remember? Yeah. I said yeah. it last week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So this is a real story. This is a real story. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm, just to paraphrase, he basically tried out for, uh, for Tough Enough. Or basically tried out for WWE. Regal was one of the one of the people that were critiquing, like the, one of the people he had to try out for. Regal told him, you know, you're only 19, you're too young, so you know, just just keep keep what you're doing, keep sending me tapes, send me a match and a promo. And basically, MGF is basically saying, oh, you basically ruined my dreams because, like, you know, you told me I was I wasn't young enough, and I wanted to kill myself, and and basically, so then Regal basically came back and said. I did this for your own good because you had the gift of gab and basically, but this went on for 15 minutes. Okay. It was very good delivery, but MGF, but like, this is my only criticism of this. This there's no money in the story. Like, okay. He told the story him and Rio. So, so, okay. So who, what, where, where's the fight here? I mean, cause like everybody's like talking about like MGF's turning baby face and everything, but like, and they said this was kind of a baby face promo, but I'm like, okay, you're telling the story of like, you know, Regal, you know, send me an email and said like you you didn't hire me when I was nineteen and stuff like I don't I, I don't well, know. It's no, like, no, like, no. Well, where, he's where? more he's more mad because he told them every month send me a tape and I'll right? critique it. And the fir- and the second month he said to say you know send me another tape and I'll critique it. And then the third month he was like yeah I'm like too busy right now <laughs> you know right. But I'm like all right. That's <laughs> I mean, well, some this is people good. that might have. Up, that might be true. He might have held on to that for seven years because, like I said, he told me the story before, so it's obviously been on his mind. Right. Okay. So my my thing is, so where's the heat here? Well, here's the thing: not everything has to be about money. This is a storyline progression. So he's turning. That's all it is. It was just okay. part of his turn. Yeah. All right. Because yeah, Regal kind of put him over here at the end. Yeah. Which is weird because like he's going to be wrestling one of his guys. I don't know. It's like I. I this was a very long promo to me that was very well done, but it's like at the end of it, I was like, all right, because it ended, it ended with no heat. That That's the other thing too. Yeah. Did that, we that, about that, 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 that awkward house? Like the ending was like, I thought the ending it. was very right. bad. Right. Right. You should exactly. have punched yeah. him. I would have right. punched him. I don't give a right. if I am turning face. I'm still it's, like, cause, cause that, cause that's a story. Yeah. I got my thing. You did this to me. Boom. I, I, I punch you. Right. Now I have my chance. I punched you in the right. face. Now I got my even. back. Right. Now, now we're, we're even. Yes. You shouldn't have turned your back on me. Right. right. And then, yeah. but, but, but the way they ended this was like, they just walked yeah. off and he's like, all right. He said, you know, maybe that's why I didn't like is because of the awkward out. You know? Me too. Yeah. <sighs> me too. Um, I agree. I agree. So we're, so Renee, my oh bro, my hell of a promo by both. Yeah. Especially MJF was well, ridiculous. Had, like, big... Kem, tell, I mean, that is an, an incredible promo, but yeah. yeah. 